Let me just move this so you can see me. Um, so let's address the elephant in the room. I know what you're thinking. A white male representing South Africa. I know what you're thinking. I hope he doesn't stage dive. And you guys can relax because I burn far too many calories going. <laughs> and it is a weird thing, walking around Los Angeles, I have noticed a very odd behavior pattern that a lot of homeless people have been following me around, assuming that I have a sandwich. <laughs> and I deem that as profiling. <laughs> because I'm aware that I'm a fat kid, but I'm not a fat kid because I know where the food is. I'm a fat kid because I know where the food was. <laughs> So before I came out here, I had to attend a wedding. I was the best man at a friend of mine's wedding. And I love weddings, except for one particular thing that comes up. Whenever the bride dances with her father, it's my favorite part of the ceremony. It's the purest form of the ceremony for me. I, I, I love that. It's, you know, she's dancing. Uh, the song they always use, though, is a song called Butterfly Kisses. Now, some of you probably do know it. Some of you may have had it at your wedding. For those of you who don't, it goes, She had butterfly kisses after bedtime prayers. Put little white flowers all up in her hair. It's a beautiful song. Thank you. <laughs> Except for the one lyric that goes, You know I really love you, Daddy, but if you don't mind, I'm only going to kiss you on the cheek this time. <laughs> what exactly does she mean? This time. <laughs> what the hell's going on in that house? Come on, give your daddy a kiss, baby. No, daddy, I can't now. I'm married. I'm just playing hard to get, baby. <laughs> <laughs> but after the wedding, I mean, it's been with the same girl now for two and a half years, and, you know, the marriage pressure starts, and it's, it's cool. My girlfriend tries to bring culture to my life. I'm a geek. Always have been born and bred. For those of you who don't know what a geek is, a show called Big Bang Theory, that those are my people. I know a Sheldon, according to a test I took on the net, I am a Wallowitz. <laughs> and yeah, I know, <laughs> you thought I'd be taller. And it, it's weird, the whole thing, because I mean, she said to me, look, let's go, let's get some culture. I want to take you to see Phantom of the Opera. I said, you know, I'm a geek, so okay, what's your sales pitch? She said, what do you mean? Pitch it to me. And I said, well, it's about a guy who lives under this very dark mansion-esque building. He wears a, wi a white mask, he has a flowing cape and a black suit. Oh. Batman 1.0, I can do this. <laughs> so we go to see it, and it's amazing. Gentlemen, if you ever want to serenade your woman, there is a song in it called Music of the Night. Allow me to demonstrate. Just imagine, if you want to pick up a woman, all you need is a boat on a fog-infested lake. <laughs> she needs to be 16. <laughs> and you have to have suffered a, f suffered a facial burn. But apart from that, you're in there. <laughs> and so to give you an example, I mean, he, he's on this thing, and she's on the boat. Her choices are date me or drown. And he says to her, <laughs> Um, it's a beautiful song. Isn't it? Softly, slowly, into each temptation. Touch me, trust me, into each sensation. Now, that's what I heard, but what was in my head, I'm a geek. The first thing I thought was, soft kitty, warm kitty, <laughs> little ball of fur. So, but I mean, this whole event is about peace, I mean, just bringing peace to the world. And so I finally, I've, uh, I've come up with an idea as how to cause world peace. And it works like so. Instead of having wars, the president of whichever country starts some crap, whoever he's fighting with, they meet in a field, just the two of them. And they are forced to do five minutes of stand-up. <laughs> because it will still satisfy the rules of war. One person will kill, one person will die. <laughs> and the rest of the world can argue not over who has the biggest army, but who has the biggest hack. <laughs> You've been fantastic. Thank you so much for playing along.